This video looks at how we can use the mean, which is a type of average, to compare two sets of data. Now suppose we know two sets of scores in a test, Jack's and Simon's, and we want to find out who does better on average. Now one way to do this is to find what's called the mean, and to do that we have to add up each of the scores, so add up the numbers, and then we divide by the number of numbers. So, for Jack's average, he's got four scores. So we do 5 plus 6 plus 5 plus 8. There are four scores there, so divided by 4. So 5 plus 6 is 11, 16, 24, 24 divided by 4, which is 6. So Jack's average or mean is 6. Now then, Simon, he's got 9, 3, 5 and 5, so we do 9 plus 3, plus 5, plus 5. Again, there are only four scores there, so divide by 4. 9 plus 3 is 12, plus 5 plus 5 is 22, divided by 4, which is 5.5. So, Jack's mean is higher than Simon's mean. So, on average, using the mean, Jack does better. Now then, in the second example we have 10 pupils who do a test. Their scores range from 5 to 8. And this shows that 3 people got a score of 5, 2 people a score of 6, 4 people a score of 7, 1 person a score of 8. So to find the class average, or the class mean, We do the following. There are three lots of five. There are two lots of six. There are four lots of seven. And there are one lot of eight. And in total, ten people took the test. If we weren't told that, we would add up the frequencies. Three plus two plus four plus one is ten. So we divide by ten. We then work out each part separately, so 3 5s are 15, plus 12, plus 28, plus 8, all divided by 10, and then add it together 10, 20, 30, 40, 48, 56, 58, 63, all divided by 10, and divided by 10 we just get 6.2. So the class average is 6.3. And of course, if we turn back to the first example, if these two pupils were part of that test and that class, then they've done below average.